stepped into my life. Such a magic feeling. We tore down. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Just kidding. We're not going down that rabbit hole. Today's YouTube video is a very important one that is going to personally help me. And I hope it personally helps you as well. I'm struggling. I'm struggling right now, you guys. I have been in a very weird place the last couple of weeks. I'm normally this super fit, active, eat healthy, feel good kind of person. But the last two weeks have been so off. And I've totally felt like I've fallen off my wagon and fallen off track and fallen off course, veered away, steered off track I, I, you know whatever metaphor you want to put out there that's how I feel right now I wanted to create this YouTube video to walk you guys through how I get back on track when I do inevitably fall off course sometimes because guess what it's always gonna happen you're gonna have these weeks or these couple of months or even just a couple days where you're not feeling like yourself and you feel like you've fallen off the great set routine schedule that you had in place once upon a time and you want to get back to that place so I'm gonna walk you guys through my process on how I do that and hopefully it can give you guys some good tips if you are also in this weird struggle bus off track place that I am in currently. But first, I'm going to finish my smoothie and then we'll get right down to business. We're ready to talk about this get back on track game plan, which is exactly what I've written down here. This is my general get back on track plan. So let's just get right into it. Also, side note before we get into it. <laughs> Slight little outfit change because as I was getting ready to film this part of the video, my little delivery man showed up and he got me this new Fabletics outfit. Just kidding, he didn't buy it for me, but he did deliver it and I'm very thankful for that. So, Fabletics, this outfit is adorable. This video is not sponsored by Fabletics, but I do love it. If you haven't checked out my Fabletics review video, I'll be sure to put that up here so you can check that out. I have loved it ever since I've tried it like a couple months ago. I've just absolutely loved everything I've got from them. So highly recommend going to check that out. But this is my cute new outfit. I'm sure I'll post a couple Instagram photos if you want to follow me on Instagram to see it in action. But anyway, let's get back to what this video is about, which is getting back on track, getting back on track, get back on that horse, get back on that train, jump back on the wagon, course correct. You know, all the things. What's first? What, where do you start? Where am I at? How am I starting? First thing that I think is the most important to start with, that kind of is also the last thing that you go with, which is forgiving yourself. So don't hate on yourself for getting off track. It happens to literally everyone. Like, no one is perfect. We're all human beings. We all have things pop up in our lives that cause us to go off track unexpectedly. Life happens. I mean, just things happen, things get in the way, and sometimes you get off track. Forgive yourself. That's number one, but also the last step. So just keep that in the back of your mind. After you forgive yourself for getting off track, the first thing I like to do is really reflect on why I think I actually got off track in the first place. Was it something going on in my life? Was it a, something stressful happening? Was it trips that I was taking or work or friends or events? Like whatever you think it might have been, just look back and really figure out what that is because if you can recognize that in the future, you can course correct a lot sooner or cause yourself from slipping down or falling off the wagon again. For me, I I think the big thing that put me into this struggle bus state that I'm currently in is that I was really working out super hard in January, eating super healthy, super conscious of just maintaining my healthy lifestyle because I was going on two different trips that involved going to the beach. And so I'm going to the beach, I'm going to be wearing a swimsuit, and I'm going to be wanting to look my best. I think those were some big motivation factors that were playing into my life and keeping me on track. So once I got back from my second trip, I noticed myself starting to not quite eat as healthy or, you know, have an extra glass of wine here and there, buy an extra bag of sour gummy worms, be okay with eating pizza more than once a week. I almost said once a day. Um, just different things like that. Like I noticed myself kind of slipping down into the not caring as much about my healthy lifestyle. And you've seen my very first video that I used to launch this channel. It's all about what happened when I did not put my health and fitness and wellness as a priority. I ended up gaining 25 pounds. Now I've been able to figure out when those situations are happening and be able to course correct a lot sooner so that I don't go back down 
that slippery slope. That is why I think reflecting on why you've gotten to where you are now is such an important step. So that is step number one A, we'll call it. One is forgive yourself, one A, reflect on why you got off track in the first place. Step number two, and this is really where we start to get into the getting back on track things, and that is to set yourself up with some small, attainable, achievable, achievable, attainable, same thing, daily slash weekly goals. So depending on you know how long you felt like you've been off track might determine whether or not you set yourself up with some daily goals or some weekly goals. You can obviously have long-term goals in your mind, but I found it's a lot easier when I just have those smaller goals that I can focus on each day or just one week at a time and making sure that I'm accomplishing those to feel good about myself being back on the right track. For me, what some of my small daily slash weekly goals are. First one, getting moving for 30 minutes a day. Right now work is crazy. I've got a lot of Dallas Stars games. I've got a lot of things to do with my normal day job. So I am going to set the attainable goal of 30 minutes of exercise per day. Ideally, I'd like that to be 60, but just right now with my schedule, I don't wanna feel like a failure if I don't hit that full 60 minutes. So I'm just gonna go with quick and dirty, 30 minutes, get it done, get in, get out. Whether it's at home, the gym, I can make 30 minutes happen. So that is number one. And then number two for me is to eat a healthy breakfast. I know you've heard like a million and a half times that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, I just personally like it because I found when I eat a healthy breakfast or a healthy first meal of the day, I tend to stick with eating healthy throughout the day instead of like if I ate a piece of toast or like a pop tart or like a croissant or a bagel first thing in the morning, I tend to crave those not as healthy carbs or sugars or I mean, there's a whole science behind it. So anyway, healthy breakfast. And that's pretty much the protein smoothie that you saw me drinking at the beginning of this video. So those are my two goals that I'm going to focus on for the next probably two weeks or so till they kind of come back naturally into my normal routine. And then I'll probably add on some more drinking water, stretching, working out 60 minutes a day instead of just 30 or getting outside for a walk every day different things like that I mean you set your own goals you know what's right for your body and what you're needing I just would recommend setting two to three small goals that you can get through and achieve every single day or every single week that is step number two moving on to step number three and there's kind of a three slash three a slash their side kind of just the same thing that is make a plan and create action items to help yourself achieve those goals what that's gonna look like for me, I'm going to decide what kind of workouts I wanna do each day so that way when it comes time for me to work out for those 30 minutes, I already have a game plan. I already know exactly what kind of workout I'm doing. I don't have to think about that waste time. I'm just gonna plan it out at the beginning of the week. And that way, when I am feeling super tired after work or early in the morning, I really don't have to do a whole lot of thought on what I'm gonna do to move my body that day. That's one example of an action item for me. Another one is to write down a healthy grocery list. I'm gonna brainstorm some different healthy meals that I can eat throughout the week. and and go to the grocery store and get all of those ingredients. So that way, when I'm trying to decide what to have for lunch or dinner, I already have all these healthy options in my house and it makes those choices a lot easier for me. Basically, the overall premise of this make a plan slash create action items is set yourself up for success in making these choices and these action items and these goals that you wanna actually accomplish each day a lot easier to do. Because if you have to go fetch your food, fetch, who says that? If you have to go fetch your food. Um, if you have to go get your food from a restaurant every single day for every single meal in order to eat healthy, that's gonna be a lot harder than grabbing the bag of chips that's in your pantry. So if you have healthy snacks at home, that's gonna be a no brainer on eating healthy. Like it's right here, you've already bought it. You're just gonna grab that instead of wanting to go to the Mexican restaurant and grab chips and queso at the end of the day. So just create those action items that make your life easier for when things do pop up and life does get in the way that you can stay on track and know the path that you're staying on and make it easy for yourself to achieve those goals no matter what's happening. That is 
Step number three. Step number four, easy enough. Easy enough, like easier said than done, probably, most likely, as most things are. Execute on your plan and action items. I mean, that's, that's kind of a no-brainer. Like if you make this plan, you create these action items. If you think of these goals, if you take the time to reflect on why you got off track, take the time to execute on your goals and your plan. Like that's the whole point of this. So step number four, execute on the plan. A lot easier said than done, like gets in the way all the time, but executing on the plan is the only way you're going to end up achieving your goals and get to your desired end result. Now, we're already step number five, which is the last step and very important step. Like I mentioned when talking about step one, step one, also step number five, and that is to forgive yourself. Give yourself some grace if you fall off the wagon again, if you have a cheat day, or if you make a mistake, or you miss a day at the gym, or whatever happens in your life, forgive yourself. It's not the end of the world. Like, I think one thing that's such a misconception is like, you always have to start your diet on Monday, and then everyone binges on Sunday. Guess what? It's Friday night at 5.30 p.m. I'm deciding on my plan plan right now. It doesn't have to be a Monday thing or a morning thing. Like a lot of times I've thought of these new plans and new ideas and new ways to get back on track in the evening. Like that's just when my brain is like turned on and excited about starting a new day fresh and over. So give yourself some grace if you fall off the wagon for one day or for one hour or for one meal. Get back on. Like that's the whole point of reflecting on why you fell off in the first place. So that way you can forgive yourself and then understand what you need to do to get back on track. That's the last step. Just love yourself, give yourself some grace, forgive yourself for making some little mistakes. It happens, everyone's human, nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect, I gotta work it, gonna work it till I get it right. Any Hannah Montana fans in the house? I don't know. <laughs> okay, anyway, so those are the five magical steps that I like to use to get myself back on track. Step number one, forgive yourself. Step number one A, reflect on why you got off track in the first place. Step number two, set yourself some attainable weekly slash daily goals. Step number three, make a plan, create action items. Step number four, execute on those plans. And then step number five, always forgive yourself, always love yourself. And yeah, let's go get back on track, people. Okay, no, but really, if you found this video helpful, would love if you would comment below. Let me know what your goals are. Would love to support you in whatever you're going through right now. Also, if you did find this helpful, please hit that like button. It really does help my channel as I am growing on this platform. And then would love if you would subscribe to my channel as well if you do want to keep up with all of my future videos. And I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Go get those goals.